open mic for a community of stories 2015. <laughs> community house in the city, a six word story. Seven roommates and one toilet. <laughs> Clogged. These are my six word stories. Trying, struggling, fighting, wishing I could. People laughing, friends hugging, in unity. Please don't leave, not this time. These are my six word stories. Leftover afterthoughts, consuming what's reality. God's unattended puzzle in the wind. And sidecars are for bitches, all pass. <laughs> this is called Life in Six Words. The struggle, months of labor, graduation. Joint by streets, together by words. Harsh reality, centuries of pain, freedom. This is called Absent Presence. This empty space beside me is the heaviest thing in the room. There are demons sitting on my lungs, forcing me to drown just to breathe. You should be here. You should be comforting me. That's your job. But you say nothing. And before, when you were screaming, I feel like you didn't even allow me to hear. I push back the tears and leave you with my heart shattered on the ground, six feet above where you lie. Finishing her sixth glass of champagne, she contemplated the meaning of this celebration. Law school was over now, and her friends were soon to be scattered across the country. They'd never be together like this again. It felt as though everything was ending, so why did they call it commencement? Without firm plans in place, the future seemed open to everything and nothing all at once. Accepting another glass, she decided to worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. These are six word stories. The first one from my childhood. Sheep bleat, I shiver, winter feeding. From now, daughter home, closed door, silent. Why? Holding her phone, I fantasize. Smash! Community. One stone, nothing, all together, tower. I am Cleo Wombos. I suck my run here. I was a uh, bondage to drugs, nowhere to turn. Homeless, seemed like my life was lost. Ten years on drugs and heroin and almost died. Turning point from out of nowhere, people shared me love and care. People gave me food and clothes to wear. I entered into a program that off drugs to stay free. From January 2nd, 1990 to January 2nd, 2015, now by the grace of God, I got 25 years clean. I did not ask for this to be happening to me. The group was stronger, tighter, unbearable, and soon became undescribable and unrecognizable. Do I fold under the control? No, no, no. I exhale and no, I'm not alone. So I break the chains that are seen and unseen. I uncover to discover and rediscover the discovery of me. Thank you to, to everybody, the, all of the community and the people that invited me. And uh, I just want to insist in something that I have told my students several times in the classroom. That is that you never vanished if somebody remembers you. You never vanish if your words still existing. And you never let others vanish if you remember them. We should remember this community, and this community will remember you, because what is written, is written forever. I love you all. This is a really amazing piece that um, I think has a lot to share about this weekend and community. What do I need for nourishment? What seed would I plant? Stories of people reaching out and being good to each other in authentic, intimate ways. What is this seed? I know what it is not. Not a t-shirt screen printed with volunteer. 
random thoughtless donations, fake smiles or looks of pity. The seed might be invitations, front yard parties, questions that want answers, open ears and open hearts, people caring for the people in their lives and in their neighborhoods, thinking locally. Thank you. Give each other some high fives. Go get it. Do you want the sign behind us? Yes. Here, step forward. Oh wait, we've got to turn it around.